It is Thursday afternoon, and we got out of school early because we are heading to Colorado to ski. Made it to Colorado and it is freezing cold. Fortunately, we have jackets. We're at Hertz and lots of SUVs to go around, but only one old gray minivan that'll take lots of people. Late arrival and we're a little punchy. Time for bed. What do you think has the room? It's almost midnight here in Keystone, and after getting a room that didn't have a pullout that worked, uh, we moved and are finally in our room for the night. You ready for bed, Russell? Yeah. Bedroom down there. Think it's a loft. Nice little living room. And a loft for the kids. All right, good night, guys. Good night. We're up before everyone getting fresh tracks at Keystone. On Friday morning, I got up bright and early to ski some fresh corduroy and then headed back to the room to collect everybody else for a nice afternoon ski run to ease into Colorado. <laughs> we finally made it to the gondola. <laughs> well, better this time. <laughs> this day is more exciting. The trails were much longer than like all the other um, places we normally go, like uh, Liberty oh. and Whitetail. School alarm was three and a half. Hello. On Saturday, we got up bright and early to head over to Breckenridge to take a ski lesson. The kids had an all day lesson while the adults skied in the morning and some of the adults had a lesson in the afternoon. It was a good day of, of learning and with long Saturday lift lines, it's a good idea to be in a ski school lesson where you can skip the line. We learned in the ski school about J-turns and stuff like that. When one person stops, yeah, the other person, people had to stop behind them, not in front of them. Sunday, the trip went a little bit off the rails. Saturday night, Nika was wheezing and had a high fever. And so we decided to take her to the clinic to get checked out. Unfortunately, she had developed uh, pneumonia and so needed to take some time away from skiing and get a little oxygen in her system. After that, uh, we got a few runs in uh, at Keystone. We went as the lights were just turning on and tested out those new skills that Russell had learned at ski school, uh, taking on some blues and even the bottom of one black diamond. I just sat and watched movies all day. We wa I watched the movie Adam Project, Turning Red, and Free Guy. In other words, too much Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> on Monday, the ladies headed over to the town of Breckenridge to walk around and take an easier day taking in the views, looking at shops, and taking some pictures. Russell and I headed up Keystone Mountain and took the Outpost Express gondola over to the backside where we skied Prospector and some blues and enjoyed a beautiful sunny day. We got lunch on top of the mountain today here at Keystone. Chicken tenders and a little bit of ramen. I think Prospector was really nice because there was a lot of snow. Actually, no, everything was really nice. There was a lot of snow. After we were done with our skiing for the day, we walked over to the ice skating rink at Keystone and had an evening ice skate on one of the last days that they'll be open this year. Ice skating was fun. Yeah, so um, the ice was a little bit uh, I like skiing better because you're not going to fall on hard ice. Yeah, skiing. Because it's easier. <laughs> because it's more fun. 
Today is Tuesday, our fifth and final day here in Colorado. We decided that we would take it a little bit easy and just take the scenic gondola ride up to the top of Keystone Mountain to look around a little bit. And now we are heading back down to the valley uh, to take our flight back to Virginia. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to Colorado. There's more. <laughs>